this college campus, my sweet girl, and when they ain't hanging out with you like you want them to be, when they not attached to you like you like you want them to be, when they look, they say, you know what? She a little holy roller. We don't want to hang with her. When we that when that her. happens, it gets you down. Yes. But my word says it fuels. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, and when something fuel, oh, I'm passing by you. Oh, yes. I'm gonna keep going because oh, you don't want to accept me. Oh, I ain't gonna try to fit in with you. Right. But see, I love Saul because Saul they knew his past. They knew his past. And they said, "Ain't that the?" I'm gonna just talk like they talk today, right? Go ahead. What they say? Mm, That's right. Ain't that so That's and so? Right. But look what Saul said. He heard it, and it fueled him. And as a matter of fact, look, he used that thing to lift him up. He used those enemies to lift him up and to keep going. It caused him to be, see, it did the opposite. See, it, instead of it causing him to stop, it caused him to be even more intentional. Jesus. It caused him to move even faster and harder. You got to push past. It caused him because of his push. Yes. And that's what we got to understand because, see, we, ha we hear about this great God that we serve. And yeah. we do. He is awesome. He is mighty. He is powerful. He is all knowing he is omnipotent he's omnipresent he yes, is everywhere you, he is all these things thank these you. great things but it does not mean that you will not have to push through some things he put them in your path so that he can build you up right. for greater right. he's building you up for something greater but don't be defeated by the first sign of i i, I thought I, I thought I, was, I turned my life over to christ this is supposed to be easy no mm -mm, right. that's not true that is not true. That means that, guess what? We know that, guess what? When we, when we come up against those things now, we saying, hey, I got to be even more. It's, it needs me to, to, to pray more. Right. It Thank needs you, me to, to, to get into my word more. That's right. It needs me to rely on, on God more. It needs me to build my faith more. Right. Because guess what? My, my, and what, what did they sing today? Not by might. Yes. Not by power. Yes. But your spirit, Lord. Thank you, God. And that's what it is. It's asking the Holy Spirit to come in to help me push, help me be intentional. It doesn't mean that, hey, Lord, pray that th you take this away. No, Lord, be with me as I go through it. That's right. Amen. Help me to go through it. That's right. Teach me to go through it. Because as I'm going through it, he's building up me for something even greater. That's impact. And that's good, Elder, because your impact will affect your push. That's right. So how bad you want it? And your look, you got to push past your past. Yes. P-A-S-T. I know right. who you used to be. Yes. Even those in these relationships, it doesn't matter who you're with. I know who you used to be. Right. They know who you used to be. But now you got to push past your past. Push Amen? past your past. And when you, when you truly have been impacted, you will be able to push and plow through that opposition. Amen. Who got my A? Who got the A? Who got we, the we're A? trying to close out. Who got the A? Come on. Come on up here. Now, y'all better watch this. Um, y'all better watch how this, this, watch how this teeny bopper walk because this is, this is serious. This, this, I love me some Gabe. No crease. Woo! Hey, love he me keep some it straight. Gabe. There he Amen. go. What's the A, Gabe? Available. Whew. Available. Available. Amen. Available. And I want to read 26 through 27 here. It says, back in Jerusalem, he tried to join the disciples, mm -mm -mm. but they were all afraid of him. They didn't trust him one bit. Then Barnabas mm -mm -mm. took him under his wing. Go ahead. He introduced him to the apostles and stood up for him, told them how Saul had seen Mm. And spoken to the master on Damascus Road and how in Damascus itself he l had laid his life on the line with his bold preaching, preaching in, in the Jesus. name <laughs> yes. of Jesus. Amen. Okay. We're going to say this A word. Available. Mm -hmm. Amen. In your impact, you have to be available. Yes, you do. See, here's Barnabas and and and. I'm, this is a little quiz here. Where are they in 26 and 27? Uh, 
Jerusalem, right? So they're in Jerusalem now, right? Where did Saul, where was Saul impacted? I want you to catch this. Where was, Paul, where was Saul impacted? Where are they now? What do you think took place there? Who did the disciples in who did the disciples in Jerusalem know Saul to be? A murderer. Mm -hmm. Right? All the teachers of Christ. Mm -hmm. That's who they knew. Right. You gotta be so, but here's Barnabas. <laughs> In the midst of the disciples in Jerusalem, not letting Saul be a part of who they were. Yeah. Here's Barnabas. Barnabas said, I, 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 I. nope. I witnessed this. Yes. I witnessed who he is. Right. Amen. See, you gotta be, you gotta know who you are connected to mm -hmm. in your impact. Yes. Because look here, he's in a place where they don't know him. Mm -hmm. But here's Barnabas. Yeah. That says, I know him. But what do you really think Barnabas, Barnabas would have been able to speak if he didn't witness anything? That's right. Saul was available. Mm -hmm. Barnabas, because he was available, Barnabas was able to witness who he said he was. Right. In order for the church to witness who you say you are, you got to be available. That's right. Jesus. Y'all y'all gonna catch that later. Amen. Y'all gonna catch that later. Amen. I got a question. Let's just say you don't know me. Here's my example. Mm -hmm. You don't know me from Adam and Eve. Mm -mm. I come up to you. Who I want to use here? I, I know somebody gonna keep it real. I know Brenda. You gonna keep it real <laughs> with me. You gonna keep it hunted. <laughs> you gonna keep it hunted. You gonna keep it hunted with me. Brenda. SLT Brenda. If I came to you and I said, hey, look here, I'm in a bad spot. You don't know me. Mm -mm. Uh -uh. I need you to co-sign for me mm. on this car. I need you to co-sign for me for this car. Mm. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Why? Amen. Amen. Hold on. Why, though? Oh, we got to get acquainted. You got to get acquainted. You don't know me. Yeah. I'm coming up to you. Guess what? You ain't never seen me. You never heard me. Right. You don't even know me. I said cosign for me. That's the same thing that Barnabas see. The disciples was like, we don't know this song. Only thing we know is what he used to do. Right. Yep. But here's Barnabas. He's vouching for him. Why? Know him. He knew him. He said, I seen him right. go and preach the gospel and who he was right. in Damascus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, God. Amen. There you go. That's right. Because of who he was and because of what he witnessed, and he was even impacted by Saul's teaching. Yes. He was available. Right. He was available. Your impact, you got to be available. Right. You got to show up. I can't expect, hey, for my basketball players, look, you ain't going to be impactful on that court if you ain't practicing. You don't show up to practice. How are you going to be, how are you going to go out there and be impactful when I need you on the track? Right. How are you going to be impactful on the court when I need you? How are you going to be impactful in wrestling when I need you, youth? Right. You got to, you think the coach going to play you? If they don't ever see you, <laughs> Amen. Let, let me take this a step back, a little further back. You think they're going to give you a scholarship and they ain't seen you do nothing on the court or on the track or on the field? Jesus. That's an investment on your impactfulness. Right. They don't know you, but guess what? I guarantee you they don't spoke to that coach about you. When you need a letter of recommendation, the person that's writing the letter of recommendation, they writing it on your behalf that they are vouching for you. Right. Because of something they have witnessed about you. That's good. That's good. Amen. Come on now. Amen. We got to get to a place of understanding 
the impact that we're looking to be and the impact we're looking for is going to require your availability. Right. It's going to require your availability. And wait a minute, let me back this up a little bit before you chime in. When we say available, we don't mean just on Sunday. That's right. Amen. We don't just mean in Bible study. Right. Amen. Thank you, God. See, your availability has to go beyond the four walls. Right. Go ahead, baby. And no, I, I, you know, I got to take it to the youth. I got to. Because I thought about. Why are people, it's the kids, I'm going to just say the kids. Why are the kids shocked when they get their grades? Wow. Wow. When you wow. know that you have not been available for Jesus. the teaching. Because this is good because you can be available but absent. Jesus. And many times we can sit up in a sanctuary. And we can be available, but absent. Yes, physically present, spiritually absent. And the Lord has been tugging on my heart because sometimes even adults, you get all bent out of shape when don't nobody want to vouch for you. <sighs> they don't want to co-sign for you. But the truth is they know your reputation. Yes. You want the leaders in the church to co-sign for you. We go through all this for you. Letter of recommendations, helping you out, giving you scholarships, doing all that. But when you go to school, you absent. <laughs> You're not say, available. Say again. But even in the body of Christ, the word says that Barnabas put his name on the line yes. for Saul. And he yes. knew Saul's reputation yes. back then, but he knew Saul's reputation now. Yes. And so in order to be impactful, I got to know who you are. Yes. Because you're not going to be in my life. Jesus. And not being impactful. Jesus. We need people in the body of Christ that's impactful. And not just in the building. Saw a left and went somewhere else and was still impactful. You can be impactful at your job. Mm. You can be impactful in your house. You can be impactful wherever you go, in a store. It does not matter. In the schools, I, I need the youth to know, regardless of your age, you can be impactful. Wow. Because it's somebody that's trying to stick to you. And they're not trying to stick to you because you're cool. they sticking to you because they're drawn by the Holy Spirit. So in yes. this, regardless of what age, parents, please pour into your children that you need to be impactful. Impactful. I need you going in that school impacting other kids. Right. I need you going in that school changing the trajectory of other people's lives. Yes. We need you to be impactful because of Barnabas, Elder Melanie, don't ask me to speak on your behalf when I don't know you. Yes. You want somebody to speak on your behalf. You want somebody to do things for you, yet you Jesus. are not available in the church. Jesus. You got to be available because as we transition to the C and then the T, yes. amen, as we transition to the C, who has the C? Somebody got that. Come on up here, Come sir. on, come on, B. Come on, sir. Now, I'm just going to tell you, he about to show you how to do it. I mean, Brother Brian about to get down. And hold on, because he, 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 he on Facebook Live, right? See, <laughs> hey, go see him, go see him, go see him, right? Because he at Blue Springs Road. Go ahead, tell him your address. 3414 30, 30, Blue Springs Road. And what's the name of the shop? Royal Tech. Royal okay. Cut, see, why he up here, see? <laughs> hey, I'm committing, we committing to him, see? And I just want to say, you can vouch, because why? You looking at the product. Yeah, <laughs> amen, amen. Commit. I'm about to say that loud. Commit. Commit. In order to be impactful, you got to commit. So let's look at verse 28 really quick. Amen. And it says, after that... Because now they, they're questioning. Barnabas has spoken up for him. And look what happened. After that, he was accepted mm -mm -mm. as one of them. Oh, my God. Going in and out of Jerusalem with no questions asked. Amen. Uninhibited as he preached in the master's name. Ain't it, ain't it good when you connect it to the right people? Amen. They can vouch with you. That's already <laughs> yes. impactful. See, 
Barnabas was in, he was already a powerful person in yes, the ministry. Amen. And because when Barnabas spoke, he was good after that. He was good. <laughs> yes. Guess what? Because Barnabas vouched for him. Yes. So now, guess what Saul can do? Saul can go preaching the gospel like he can go Anywhere. and be yes. impactful Amen. in everything that he does. All because of what? That's why you got to be available. That's right. To build relationships. Yes. To be connected. Who are you? Yes. See, so that when the church or somebody you connected to goes and speak, they know because they've witnessed it. Right. In you. They know who you are. Amen. See, but we got to get away from, can, can you write a letter on mother hand? Mm. Well, really, who are you? Yes. Thank you. Who God. are you? Do I really know you? Mm. I, I would tell you, you pray about it, but you really have to know. The, ba the Bible says, know those amongst you, the yeah. those the who labor, labor amongst, amongst you. you. Amen. That's what the Bible says. It's not what, well, what Elder Anthony's saying. It says, know them. And guess what? If Elder Anthony going to vouch for you, I'm going to make sure I know you. Yes. Amen. I'm going to make sure I know you. Amen. And even if you don't want to get known, I'm going to, hey, I'm going to, hey, I need to know you. Thank you, God. That's why I tell B all the time, B, we're going to chop it up outside of the ministry. Mm -hmm. I tell him that all the time because it has to be bigger than the four walls. I know who you are in here, but who are you out there? Thank you, God. Yes. Who are you? Available. Available. Because guess what? When you're available, you can commit to more than just Sunday. Amen. You'll commit more than Wednesday. Amen. You'll commit because now it's a lifestyle. That's right. Everything about you is about Christ. That's right. Everything about you yep. is about Christ because you've been impacted. Mm -hmm. And when you've been impacted, everything about you changes. See, you ever heard somebody that you, you may talk to them and they may be in a bad spot? When you speak to them, and they, they may come and tell you, I've really been impacted by you. Well, what change have you shown? What's your mm -hmm. level of commitment that you've shown to the change and the impact that you said they've made in your life? That's right. Because if you say, I've impacted you, certainly some things should have changed in your life. Amen. Mm -hmm. See, Saul was impacted that he did the opposite of what he was doing. See, that's, that's what impact right. does. Impact causes a change right. within you and outside of you. It starts to change things around you when something impacts. We spoke about that in the beginning. A storm impacts people. Right. What happened in Texas, it impacted a community. See, it impacts you directly. It starts to change yes. how you do things. Right. when you've impacted. That makes sense? Amen. And this is the last one, right? Oh, yeah. This is, this, this is it. This is it. This is it. So Amen. after you have, what, what's, the, what's the I? Intentional. What's the M? What's the P? And what's the A? And what's the C? And guess what? When it get hard, guess what? You go to T. When, you, when it gets so hard and you just don't, can't figure it out, turn back to your why. That's right. Turn back to your why you decided to commit. That's right. Turn back to your why why you decided to be intentional. That's right. Turn back to why you was even impacted and your calling. You got to turn back to that I, to that being intentional, even when it gets hard, and start the cycle over and over and over again. Because what did he say in Philemon? Amen. Christ makes me bold enough. This is Philemon, y'all, one. And Onesimus. Uh, and Onesimus. Mm -hmm. Christ makes me bold enough to order you to do the right thing. And this is Philemon, um, verse 8. Chapter 1, verse 8. However, I would prefer to make an appeal on the basis of love. I, Paul, as an old man and now a prisoner for Christ Jesus, appeal to you for my child Onesimus. I became his spiritual father here in prison. Once he was useless to you, but now he is very useful to both of us. I'm sending him back to you. 
This is like sending you a part of myself. Verse 13, I wanted to keep him here with me. Then he could have served me in your place while I'm in prison for spreading the good news. In verse 14, yet I didn't want to do anything without your consent. I want you to do this favor for me out of your own free will without feeling forced to do it. And just real quick, and when you get a chance, read Philemon. Read that book. Short book, very powerful. Read that book. Because that one book, one, Philemon chapter 1, chapter 1, read it. Very short book. But the synopsis of what took place there was Philemon was writing to Onesimus from jail. Paul was. Sorry, Paul was. Paul was writing to Philemon from, to, he was writing to Philemon about Onesimus from prison. And what had happened was they had to art with one another. And, and Onesimus he was a slave at one point. So Paul was telling him from the prison, he was telling Philemon, hey, look here, although I could boldly tell you what to do, he said, I'm appeal to you in love. He said, so that you would be able to go and make that right. So he, he said, remember, I'm your father. Remember how you was impacted. Yes. Remember how you was impacted. Because when you're impacted, then you can go out and impact others. Yes. And do something different. Yes. Do something changed. Yes. Do get away from the status quo of what you used to do. But when you have been impacted, mm -hmm. now you can be impactful. Right. So Onesimus, and I just want to go ahead and say that. Close out Onesimus. When he ran and when he was in, when he had an encounterment with Paul, when he was impacted. It said that at one time we weren't useful, and that's true in the body of Christ. But he said now he is useful to me and you. When you are impacted, you become useful. In the body, in the of, Christ. body of Christ. When you are impacted, you become useful in your home. You become useful in the schools. You become useful to wherever you are in your space. You become useful. It said that he had an encounter. And I just want to say that Paul was in prison. And when he met Onesimus, and when he, st he sent a letter, yes. and I thought that was powerful as we were studying it because I don't even have to go anywhere. You can see me right here, but you know out there, you know who I am. You know who I am. And Paul just wrote a letter. He said, you know who I am. Because don't forget, I impacted you. I impacted you. Don't forget, I ran into you. I had an encounter. So as we are standing on our feet, yes. amen? Thank you, God. As we are standing on our feet, you can ask yourself today, am I, Im am I impacted by someone? And am I being impactful? And I just want to close, as, as, as we prepare to close really quick, just one last thing. Being impacted and, and, and being impactful is a choice. It's, it's, it's a choice. And the Lord always said in his word, he says that, guess what? When my word goes out, it will not come back to be void. So when the Lord's word goes out, There's a purpose for everybody to be impacted. But he's saying we have to make the decision to be what? Intentional. To move. To push. To be available. And to commit. And even when it gets hard, turn back to your why. You'll be to commit to continue to be intentional regardless of the situation in which you find yourself. Remember, you got to just, from this day forth, the Lord is saying, Branch, we got to be impactful. Amen. If you want to change, if you want to, if you, somebody? oh, okay. If you, it's saying, Branch, if you really want to change and really want to impact, not only the four walls, but your home, your relationship, 
your job. 